Hey guys, it's Haley, your host of Locked on Blues. Today we're going to be talking about some draft rumors that need to be addressed. Let Doug Cook 2.0. We can now confirm that moves have been made with the St. Louis Blues with their 25th and 29th overall picks in this year's draft. And of course, our favorite Friday segment, Are We Feeling Blue? This is all coming up on Locked on Blues. Your Locked on Blues, your daily podcast on the St. Louis Blues. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. First off, thank you guys for making Locked On Blues your first listen every single day. Today's episode is brought to you by Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code Locked On NHL for twenty dollars off your first purchase. Hello, my friends. My name is Haley Simon, and as I said, I am your host of Locked on Blues. I love doing this podcast, and I've been covering the NHL now for about four years. I actually started covering the Blues when they went to the Stanley Cup Finals in 2019. I'm a huge hockey nerd. One thing about me is that I love my hockey. Hockey is my life, it's my religion, and it's my love. And Blues Nation, right now, we are in a really weird situation. And we're going to get into that in the let Doug cook situation, but draft rumors that need to be addressed. Something's going to happen. A lot of the national people, Elliot Friedman, Kevin Weeks have all indicated in one way or another that the blues, they're looking to, uh, do something with their 25th and 29th overall pick in exchange. I don't know if it's going to be for another player. I don't know if it's going to be for future draft picks. I don't know what they're doing, but something is happening. Right now, it is June 23rd, a Friday, and it's approximately my time right now, 3.30 Central. So, yes, <laughs> something will happen this weekend. I've said that in uh, yesterday's episode and all week, really, that something's about to happen, and it's because something will happen. Um. I I don't know how I feel about this. I feel not disappointed. I just feel like something should have happened already. Um hmm. It's really weird. See, here's the thing. And this was put out today by, and as I said, I only give out real sources on here, so I'm not going to just say, oh yeah, confirmed by a Twitter account that has no um, verification. But at the fourth period, who is David Pognata, Pog, Pagnata, I I hope I said that correctly, my apologies. With the NHL draft five days away, the Capitals are exploring ways to move up from eighth overall. The Flyers are hoping to add another first round pick. The Blues, this is us continue to dangle number 25 and number 26 and the Leafs are shopping the 28th pick for immediate help. The Flyers and Blues are rumored to be in communication again. This means that something realistically could happen tonight or tomorrow, but there's a lot of um there's a lot of talk And usually when there's a lot of talk, something will happen because I have never seen two teams like Philadelphia and St. Louis rumored to be talking as much as they have been these past couple days. But it's also interesting that, you know, that as I was mentioning, the other national um, reporters, and I want to know what you think. Do you think it's like a little suspicious that all of these conversations include the Blues 25th and 29th overall? We all know the Blues, they're going to be staying at 10. It's basically locked in. I said that the other day. But you know what's not locked in? And I said this too. Are those 25 and 29th overall picks? That is not a locked in. That is to the Blues' advantage. They have an advantage, folks. And we have to be realistic. They have leverage. They have value. And when you have three first-round draft picks, of course you're going to have value. People are going to want that. But what's interesting is what will the Blues do with it? Because I, as I said, I would much, and I'm getting annoyed because this is my biggest fear. 
I would, and I'm going to be loud and I do apologize. Um, bear with me. I'm going to be loud for a minute. You're going to see some passion. We had an awful season and I do not, and I repeat, I do not want Doug to mess up not drafting one of the best prospect classes and get a guy who may not even do well and let us down. Take the risk with a younger guy. Do not give up any of those draft picks. I knew this was going to happen, but I can't lie here and say that I'm cool with it because I'm not cool with it. I'm not. I want this team to be successful in the long run. We're not right now. We have missing pieces. I'm fine having another season where we get looked at as the underdogs again. Oh, it's St. Louis. They're not going to do anything. I would rather have that and have three phenomenal prospects that we have that could play for us in a couple of seasons. I usually I usually don't get this upset. I usually don't get this mad. But how could you not be? How could you not be a little bit frustrated with what the Blues are doing? A little bit frustrated that we have three first round draft picks and yet we're in a situation where uh, I I can't say that I feel good. I, I can't and I'm sorry and I want to say that I feel good. I want to say, oh yeah, I'm fine. This is awesome. But no, it's it's not awesome. It's not because if we mess up this draft, what will this team be? Will this be the end of an error that we all desperately needed? Before I end up punching a wall, I'm positive I just don't want our draft to be messed up. I'm going to tell you really fast about the Blues preseason schedule. It came out today. So, The first, I'm so excited for this, by the way, you guys, because obviously we're going to win this one. I know preseason, it doesn't matter wins and losses, and it's about getting the guys, you know, back on the ice again. But come on, playing against the Coyotes, we're at home at Enterprise, Saturday, September 23rd at 2 p.m. And then we're, oh, Oh, it's a split squad. I was going to say, what? And then we're at um, Arizona, Saturday, September 3rd at uh, 7 p.m. I was really confused at first. I saw that. And I was like, "Uh, did did the NHL mess this up? And okay, so that's September 23rd. So 2 p.m. here at Enterprise. And then 7 p.m. there, wherever they're going to (laughs) play. On the pond in a random building. No. (laughs) Chill. Um, All right. Then we're playing the Columbus Blue Jackets Tuesday, September 26th at 7 p.m. And then we're at Chicago Thursday, September 28th at 7.30 p.m. I hate the Blackhawks. Oh. Will that mean? No. Panger. Yeah, he'll be there. Oh, that sucks. And then we're going to be hosting the Dallas Stars September 30th, 6 p.m. Then we're at Columbus, Monday, October 2nd at 6 p.m. At Dallas, Thursday, October 5th at 7 p.m. And then we are hosting Chicago once again, Saturday, October 7th, time to be determined. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, my goodness gracious. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So when we play, I just saw this. Okay. So when we uh, play Arizona on Saturday, September 23rd, the 7 p.m. game, not the 2 p.m. game, that will be played in Wichita, Kansas. So. And then when we play on the 30th versus Dallas, they'll be in Independence, Missouri. Fun, fun. All right. Whatever. I mean, listen, it gets me excited. That means preseason schedule, you know, I'm excited for the regular season and I don't know, it just gives me some hope. I hate the off season. Yeah, so it's fine. I don't want the summer to end. (laughs) 
that was like one thing when I was looking at the schedule. I'm like, oh, I'm so excited. Hockey. I get to see the Blues again. Oh, no. Uh, summer might end. It's not going to end soon. But of course, that's like the first thing that we all think of. All right. Before we get into Let Dog Cook 2.0, I'm going to tell you about my friends at Bird Dogs. Bird Dogs make you look good. Bird Dogs are a stretch khaki short, and they're designed to fit slimmer through the thigh and leg to give you a truly sculptured look. Go to birddogs.com slash locked on NHL for a free Yeti style tumbler with your order. That's birddogs.com slash NHL for a free Yeti style tumbler. You won't want to take your bird dogs off. We promise you. All right. Let dog cook 2.0. Can you do it? I don't know. <laughs> oh, that rhymed, baby. Um, Doug is cooking up a storm right now. He is cooking up something because he, first off, he is talking to other teams, which gives me a sign of, okay, he's not satisfied with what we have or he wants to do something else. I don't necessarily think right now we're rumored to be potentially getting center Scott Lawton, who's on the Philadelphia Flyers. Um, I don't think. And, I, you know, earlier in the episode, I said I want to hold on to our three draft picks, and I do. I want to move up a little bit, but I don't want to lose a draft pick. And I've said that all along. The Flyers, I believe, do not have um, a second-round pick. We do. Yes. Scott Lawton has talent. Yes. The second round is still very good in this year's draft. I would rather do that than give up a first rounder, even if it's the 29th. I, you know, I want our team, and I've said this before, to be a younger team. And it's it's no diss on him, right? It's no diss on any of these guys that are trying to be traded. I know uh, from an, another Philadelphia Flyer traps, Konechny is um, also rumored to be potentially being traded. It's nothing against them personally. I just want us to be younger and successful in the long run. And it's really just the benefit of, um, the team. It's uh, one of those things where, you know, this team, we have, we have a lot of potential. And sure, Scott Lawton would 100% benefit us. 100%. It's not like he wouldn't. It's not that he wouldn't. And I have to think about what I'm going to say because I don't want to be one of those people that's going to be like, oh, no, I'm going to be like the most unhappy person. But I just want us to be good. Um, Barbashev is also mm, in the talks of maybe coming back. That's not confirmed yet either. But if that happens, then I'm going to be surprised that Doug has even allowed any of this. I don't think Ryan O'Reilly is going to come back. I don't think Ivan will come back. I don't think we're going to go to the past again. And what I mean by that is I think that what we have now, the talents that we have now or the talents that we're going to roll with, and the guys that we had to get rid of, I don't think they're going to come back. Um, but I trust Doug. But right now he's using these first-round uh, picks as bait. He's getting teams to talk to him. And I think that, uh, I don't, I don't want to say that that's a bad thing, but, um, a stat came out and I forgot about this from the 2016 draft where we were the 26 overall and we got Tage Thompson. And then at 30 in the second round at our 35th pick, we got Jordan. So all right. I feel like there's a deal coming. I really do. I, um, hmm. Oh, yeah. So in 2017, we, today was the day that we got Shen, um, from the Flyers, actually. I have all these, like, stats I want to tell you guys about, and I'm like, oh, my God. We got Braden and Shen, and then the Flyers got the 27th pick. Um, that happened. Yeah, it's uh, it's going to be a little crazy. Um, you know, I trust Army. Yeah. 
nothing happened yet with Colton. Um, still rumored Oilers, Flames, nothing like that has happened yet. But don't you guys think it's a little interesting that we have been in so much, like, I don't want to say conversation, but how our team's been brought up in a lot of trade rumors. Like, that's very unusual, I feel like, to have this many rumors and this many teams. And I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel um, about it. But it's it's an interesting thing to think about, the whole concept of it, right? To where it's like, wait, we have this many teams interested by us. I don't know. I don't know. Offseason is crazy. And if Connect Me were to be here, um, I I wouldn't be mad about it. I wouldn't, St. Louis. I wouldn't be mad. But I just, as I said, I don't want to waste our draft picks. Yeah. Because, I mean, I just read you a stat. The second round pick with our 35th pick, we got Jordan. And he was absolute stud. Still is. So, yes, the guys in the second round are still very, very good. I know we haven't talked much about the second round. And I do apologize. Next week, we're going to have a crazy couple days before the draft. Um, But I really wanted us to focus on the potential guys we could get. I still believe Zach Benson's our guy. I still believe that we will get him at 10th overall. I really do. Um, And if that happens, St. Louis, your girl told you so. I asked you guys on Twitter, by the way, um, at Locked on Blues, where you can find us on Twitter. You can find me on Twitter at Haley T. Simon. But you can find your Locked on Blues on Twitter. Listen. Follow that. You don't even have to follow me, but make sure you follow that because I post all up to date breaking news and content. (laughs) I'm like breaking news. There's no news broken yet. Do you think a trade will happen before the draft? 75% of you said yes, while 25% of you said no. I do think a trade will happen. Doug wants teams to call him. Doug wants teams to be interested. He wouldn't be doing all this if he didn't want to spark some interest. He wouldn't um he wouldn't be putting it out there publicly that hey, you know, we're 25th and 29th we're, we're willing to do something for that. But then here's the thing. What would we get in return? Cuz I don't care about a future draft pick for another year. I don't care about that. And okay, fine. Let's just say, theoretically, we're being going to be theoretical people right now. The Flyers trade to us, Scott Lawton and Travis Konechny, and they got our 25th and 29th pick. I would be mad. I would be fuming. Fuming. Now, another hypothetical. The Flyers trade to us, Scott Lawton and Travis Konechny, and they get our 25th overall. Okay. I wouldn't like it. I would prefer 29th overall out of all of our picks or a second round pick, but I do not want to get rid of both of our first round draft picks. No way. No, no way. What do you think? Do you think that this is stupidity to get rid of our first two? I mean, not our first two, but two out of our three first round draft picks. I think it's insane. I no. I am getting mad. I'm getting, I'm getting mad. I am getting really mad right now. Oh my gosh, that would be awful. I need to not be mad. I'm getting really upset. Um, <laughs> all right, before I get too mad, I want to tell you about my friends over at Game Time. Game Time is the best ticketing app. It's the fastest growing ticketing app in the country for a reason. You get images of your seats before you even buy it, and you buy tickets in two seconds. It's two swipes, boom, boom, you're done. So make sure you snag the tickets without the stress over at Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code Locked On NHL for twenty dollars off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code Locked On NHL for twenty dollars off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest prices guaranteed. Man, this is gonna bring me to my favorite question we ask every Friday now. Are we feeling blue? I am feeling. Well, I don't know. I don't know what shade of blue I'm feeling today. A little bit. A little bit. I'm a little bit nervous about what's going to happen. I don't feel uber confident, folks. I don't. I I really, you know, I think I just talked myself into not feeling good about this draft.
Wow. I'm, I'm stunned. Um, okay. I, I would, oh my gosh, hell, oh, if we get rid of her, uh, uh, oh man, if we get rid of our first, if we get rid of, I'm saying our first round, if we get rid of two out of our three of our first round draft picks, these players better be putting up some points or doing something. They better be like the next Connor Bedard, but as in a little bit older and less talented. Um, I don't know. I, Army, I love him. I love him. I got to trust in him. I got to let Doug cook 2.0. We got to let him cook 2.0 where we're just letting him cook. We're letting him flip it and flip that egg. I don't know, but oh my goodness gracious. If somehow this gets messed up. St. Louis, I think you can all relate to me right now. This like stick to your feelings, like stick to your stomach thought. Um, I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm feeling blue. I am feeling blue. Maybe I'm being dramatic. Maybe I am overthinking this. Maybe I'm, I don't know. I, I just, I don't like this. This makes me on edge. Um, hmm. I don't like this. <laughs> St. Louis. Okay. Question for my everydayers. How are you feeling? Does this make you feel sick to your stomach? Does this make you feel uneasy? Does this make you, does this make you kind of not want any moves to be made? Because it's not like the Flyers have anything to offer right now for us besides players. But, like, they don't have any higher up draft picks besides their seventh overall. Um, mm, I don't like this. I don't like that he's dangling the 25th and 29th. I don't like that it's an and. I don't like that it's not an or. I would prefer an or if they said, oh, yeah, Doug Armstrong is um, dangling the 25th or the 29th, I would feel a little bit better. I don't like that it's a 25th and 29th. No, not an and, Doug. Not an and. Not an and. Oh, make it an or. Please, please, please. If we come out of this draft with only one first round draft pick after coming into this draft with the most loaded since 2015, I am going to lose my mind. I'm going to lose my mind. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Now I just stress myself out. <laughs> Thanks, Doug. I, wow. Now that I'm thinking about it, um... <laughs> Oh no, I don't know how I feel. I don't know if I like this. <laughs> I don't know if I like this. Um, either way, I gotta trust in Doug. I gotta let him cook. He's gotta do something. <laughs> um, wow. Well, this is an uneasy way to end today's episode. Before I end, I want to let you guys know that if any breaking news happens this weekend, I will be addressing it here on Locked on Blues. So yes, we are a Monday through Friday podcast, your team every day, but I will also, I want to let you guys know, because I know that, you know, we're just getting to know each other, you and I, um, whenever, whenever, Um, to let you guys know. So I will always do that. So I wanted to be transparent and honest with you folks. Never worry that I'm not going to get the news out. I'm not going to analyze it. My episodes the past couple of days, yes, they've come out a little bit later because I am still getting all of the information possible because the last thing I would want is for an episode to come out without the latest news, the most relevant news, the most up-to-date news. I would rather come out a little bit later and then have all this information for you guys. All right, Blues Nation and my everydayers, I will talk to you maybe this weekend because I think something will go down. But if not, I will, uh, I'll talk to you uh, on Monday. Bye, guys, and let's go, Blues.